Welcome back, everybody. I um, have one last case of French history pack. I'm going to open it before packing and going off to the airport. Thought I'd make a video. I'm trying to queue some videos up so when I get to Sydney, I can just recoup. Uh, recoup, rest, whatever the word is supposed to be. Um, This is case... What is it? It's five, technically. Uh, we streamed about four yesterday, and although we hit quite a few legendaries, not, they weren't amazing. Let's put it that way. But that's fine. Red and Ledger hit one. Sorry about the lighting and the audio is probably not the best either, but I am in a hotel. Can't control these. Hopefully you enjoy the content anyway. It seems silly not to open as much French history pack as I possibly could while I'm in France. It's still a hell of a lot cheaper than trying to ship any of it for content back home. So um, I don't know what the exact ratios are. From memory, uh, Legendary is a 1.7 a case. So slightly more than two, um, slightly, I'm sorry, slightly under two per case, which is what I have been seeing consistently. Marvel's, on the other hand, very much hit and miss so far. Like we did, um, I did five Marvels in a row in cases, and then I've done four cases with none. So let's see if this will break the streak. We're still really hoping for a Fable here. It's a good hit. Hopefully there's no Marvel in my um, in my bulk from yesterday. I don't think there was. You guys were watching too. So shout out to um Cards Hunter. He is a French local, hooked me up with a little tripod for free, and um, sourced me these cases. He, I believe, runs an online store. He has a YouTube channel, so check that out, Card Hunter. Thanks again, buddy, if you're watching this. For I know it was, it was, he'd been at Pro Tour, he was supposed to be hanging out with his girlfriend, but he went out of his way to uh, source me some product. So it's um, 10.30 in Paris. My flight is at 9. But I'm going to check out at 12, go to the airport lounge, plug my laptop in, upload, edit. Uh, I got some emails. Well, some. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of emails to catch up on. And then I fly back to Sydney, I believe I land. There we go, Command and Conquer. I went back to Sydney on Thursday at 6 a.m. So I'm hoping to sleep that last leg from Singapore and wake up in Sydney and feel slightly human. I don't I don't think I experienced much jet lag coming to France. I think the time zone to the US is much worse than Europe. So I'm not I'm pretty keen to come back. I think I'll I'll make the effort any um big event that comes up maybe even calling if there's cheap tickets and depending on the country might just jump on the plane i've got a couple of weeks before nats when i get back to sydney so i'm planning to book those tickets at the airport i did qualify on xp so might try and go win myself a PTI, which I only slightly missed out on this trip. And last couple of packs. Let's go real quick, since I have a case to do. I don't want the video to end up being... Look at that, I did a... 
the books in five minutes. Um, I don't want the video to be awfully long either. So. Alright, box two. This hotel, um, it's nice. It's very, very small. And anytime someone opens their door, it's as if they're opening my door. I think you can probably hear that a little bit through the audio, I apologize. But I do not want to lug a case of product back through, um, in a suitcase through customs. Seemed like a bad idea. Nothing. I think we, we've been hitting 10 or 11 Majestics a box. Which isn't bad. It's to be expected with the 36 packs. mentioned this on stream yesterday but if you're keen on any of the cards especially the high-end ones legendaries etc um the deck box flesh and blood options is where you'll find a chunk of them Planning to do a deck tech if you're keen on that type of stuff on the Dory list. Um, I might end up doing it on Arsenal Pass. I, they, a lot of people have asked me to do one. I think um, talking to Hayden and Brandon about it would be cool, get some of their insight. Uh, if not, I'll obviously post it on here. Also, hoping to do a video with Mr. Folks, Pro Tour Champion. He's busy. I'm still not back in the country, so that might be a couple of weeks, but there's some, um, I mean, there's no controversy at the Pro Tour, but uh, there's controversy around Matthew, and I, I know what most of it is, although I've never heard it from him directly, so it's something I think would be worth having a chat to him about. Very slow box for box number two. And the Majestics are all good, obviously, but in a case you're ideally hoping for two Legendaries and a Marvel. Perfect world. I'm really pumped for this um, new Boots Hero in Dynasty. I think we get some spoilers while I'm on the plane, or at least some info. Maybe the info is only going to be the lore stuff that they do, but I'm excited nevertheless. Although with um, Uprising, they did reveal Icelander very, very early. So, they might end up doing that again. Two 
two packs in box two. Box <clears throat> so now it's two packs. I missed them. Nothing. All right, last pack. Whew. Talk about stingy. This is okay. <laughs> stingy always pulls up the legendary. Seem to hit a lot of um, tectonic plating versus like um, <clears throat> grass with the arc knights and spellbound creepers. I just I think I have like ten tectonics from opening French. I wonder if that's a um, a variance to me personally thing. Is that the most useless Majestic in the game? I don't know. I've literally never seen it played. And I can't remember what it says. Whoops, a lot of wind. Do them upside down. Oh, E strike. Like, if you're ever worried about missing the marble, you should open the packs upside down. <laughs> Halfway through. Spinal crush. Looking forward to warrior support in Dynasty. It seems inevitable since it is a warrior hero. Also seems inevitable to get a wizard and draconic stuff in that set. Um, they've confirmed Breeze Rider Boots. Um, <clears throat> they've confirmed Azalea support, so that's good for... I mean, it'd be great to see another ranger in the meta, especially one if it can contend with guardians. I'm not sure how, I believe like Lexi is not the worst matchup into Bravo, so it'd be good to see another gatekeeper for guardians. They don't just run rank with prison gone. My summary of this product is probably it's not worth opening uh, if you already have all the cards that you need in the game. Like you end up with a lot of bulk, 
which is great. A lot of playable cards, um, but as hits go, you know, non-foil legendaries are probably not going to cut it for value. So, same goes for white border. Although, you know, it's cool if you're in an armory and this is what you pick up in one of the European countries and end up hitting a marvel from like a, a prize pack. That'd be sick, but, you know, glass established players, not something I'd recommend spending a lot of money on. I don't think it's it's a profitable investment. Boom Sonic. But it's free country. You know. I think you're in a free country if you're watching this. You do what you like. Alright, last pack of box three. No marble. Okay. One more box. Actually hope we see um, either in history pack two, although that won't really solve the problem I'm trying to solve. I hope we see the cards from the classic battles like Glistening, Steel Blade, um, even the heroes and weapons themselves, and well, alt art ones <coughs> in Dynasty because it's still a little bit. Uh, you know, it's annoying for people that want to play Dory at the moment, having to spend quite a bit of money securing those singles, especially, you know, them having to buy a product that's, like, intended for new players. Cracking them just to get three cards. Like, buying three full decks, three full boxes to get three cards out. So hopefully we see some reprints or if it's not reprints like i mean glistening would have to be the same card you wouldn't want two versions of it but there's a couple of cards in the classic battles that could do with a a reprint sooner than later the card's too good you, you're not going to compete with dory without run through and glistening and while you're at it you probably should get blade flash it's not great, but it has a lot of value in the deck. Oh, halfway through box four. So we've hit one command and conquer, one E strike, one legendary. That's that's the whole case so far. Not the best. Hope you guys have enjoyed my janky hotel setup. Thanks for tuning into the stream. That was yesterday. I'm not sure when this video will go up, but okay. E strike. We like. baby all right that was all worth it in the end <laughs> i saw a little flash of color and i was like could it be it's going straight in my deck actually maybe not maybe it'll end up being on the auction page Whew. that's really nice to hit it's really nice i know it's super glary guys but So beautiful. It's the right one to hit on the right play map too. Now can we still hit a marble? Come on. Make up for the 
<laughs> so there are four cases of tuds nearly. It's funny as I was planning when I went so bad with the other cases to just take this one to Australia in a in a suitcase and see if people wanted to buy a box out of it, but now I'm happy I didn't. Metacarpus node. And the last pack, do or die. There is no marvel in that induction chamber, though. Well, we did it. Hit a fable French. Well, they're feed or feed Beautiful. All right, I gotta go pack. Thanks for watching.